Hey friends, it's Miss Alex, and we just tried bug yoga, but I thought it'd be nice to have a video on YouTube for you guys to practice whenever you're feeling tired or you need to stretch or you just need to get some wiggles out. So remember our theme is bugs. So we're gonna start out as a butterfly. So we're gonna start as an egg, just like a butterfly does. We're gonna start super small, we're gonna curl up tight, And you're gonna breathe in as, as you breathe in. You're gonna stand up and stretch your arms out and hatch out of your egg. So you're gonna reach, imagine your arms reaching out. Now you're not a butterfly yet, you're a caterpillar. So now we're gonna put our arms down and we're gonna start being a caterpillar. And caterpillars are constantly on the move for food. So we're gonna pretend that we're inching along for food. We're gonna inch again. Back up. And inch again. All right, one more. Back up. Your butt should be in the air. And inch down and get that leaf. And then you're gonna come back. And your caterpillar is big and strong and he's strong enough to make a chrysalis. So he's gonna hide in his chrysalis. Then you're gonna sit on your bottom, go slowly unravel out of your chrysalis. You're gonna stretch, twist your body one way, and another, and then unravel your wings or your legs. You're gonna slowly press them down and start stretching them out. Butterflies' wings are very fragile. So when they come out, they're all wet and they're, they're folded neatly. And so they have to dry them out in the sun and unfold them until they're ready to take flight. So we're gonna take it very slow. Is your butterfly ready? Okay, and you can take your hands off and you can pretend your butterfly is flying. Now imagine your butterfly is flying to another leaf and it lays an egg. And imagine that egg hatches and that caterpillar reaches out and twists and pulls his legs out. Then he has to find food. So he's gonna inch and find food. Then he's gonna inch again. We can get bigger. One more. So now that my caterpillar is full and strong, he is ready to go into his chrysalis. After his chrysalis, you're gonna lay out your wings. You're gonna start pulling out of your chrysalis. You're gonna stretch. Then you're gonna slowly stretch out your legs. It shouldn't hurt. So remember that, and you're doing this to relax and get some sillies out and learn about some bugs. So now you're gonna take flight. So now that you've taken flight, you are going to lay down on your mat, just like this, whole body flat. You're then gonna pretend you're a beetle. So if remember we said a beetle 
has two sets of wings. The protective set is called the elytra or the hard shell. So imagine that your legs are the elytra. Okay, just move them up and down. That's your protective shell. Your arms are gonna be your folded wings. So imagine that your elytra is covering your wings. So we're gonna put them close to our side. So as the elytra opens, we are gonna put our legs back, back, back over our head until your feet touch the ground. So your wings are taking flight and then you're gonna cover your wings again. Again, the beetle takes flight. So you're gonna lift your elytra up, feet touch the ground, and then you come back and cover your wings. One more, the beetle takes flight, the elytra comes up, the wings are moving, the elytra goes back down and protects the beetle. Now that we've been a beetle, we know about the elytra, we know about a protective shell, but there's another type of beetle called a roly-poly or a pill bug. So we're gonna pretend to be one of those. And those are the bugs that get in really tight little balls to protect their legs and their bodies from predators. So to start out, we're gonna sit on our knees and our shins. Then we're gonna put our legs out to the side so you should see them, just like this. And you're gonna lay back. You're gonna put your arms over your head. So imagine you're the pill bug just walking along, looking up at the sky making sure there's no danger. Now, if you see a bird, you're gonna come up slowly and you're gonna get into your ball. So you're gonna get your legs and arms into safety, just like this. Now look out, do you see any more danger? I don't see any more. So we're gonna come back, legs up again to the side, arms overhead. Make sure you don't see anything in the sky other than the beautiful clouds. If you see danger, you simply come up slowly. Arms and legs into safety. You can't get your arms and legs if they're tight inside your protective shell. You're gonna relax. Come back up. Legs to the side. Arms overhead. Imagine you're relaxing as a little roly poly. And the last sign of danger, we're gonna spin and come up. Get our legs and arms inside and our antennas. Take a deep breath and let it go because the danger passed. And uncurl. Now we're gonna be a dragonfly. So we're gonna take our leg, we're gonna pull one leg up Put our hands on either side so our leg is stretched out in the back, like that. Great. I'm going to take my chest and lean it forward and put my arms out at my side. I'm still looking up. I'm going to start flapping my wings. Now, dragonflies have to fly super fast because they catch mosquitoes. So move your wings. You don't have to move crazy fast or you're going to fall because Dragonflies also have to be very careful not to fall out of the sky, right? They're flying that fast. So now bring your wings down to rest. We are going to take our leg, put it down, and we're going to rest our wings. So we're going to put them out on our side. Our head will be down on the ground. Now 
Then we're gonna take our other leg, bring it up, arms and wings out to the side, and we're gonna lean forward and flap our wings. And imagine that you're catching all the mosquitoes that you're skipping across the ponds. Maybe you're even flying by yourself, playing in your backyard. So wings come down, leg goes down, wings at rest. Now we have to be a lightning bug. So we're gonna put our wings out. Remember that lightning bugs use their arms for their wings and their light to communicate. So we're gonna move ours, we're gonna twinkle our light. And as we twinkle our light, we're talking to ourselves or our friends or our family, we're spreading kindness, however we're saying it. Right? Now imagine that your lightning bug is gonna come down. You're gonna put your hands over your head and you're going to stretch down and you're gonna pretend to eat your food and eat it up. You're gonna stretch down again and then you're gonna lean back. Stretch down again and eat your food. Now we're gonna go into sleeping bug. So we put our legs up in the air, we're gonna grab right here. Take a deep breath. If your legs fall, that's okay. You're a bug at rest. You're full and happy. And your legs are gonna come down, your arms are gonna come down at your side. You're just gonna take one more deep breath. Three. And out. If you'd like to take one more, you can. And out. Thank you so much for doing bug yoga with me, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I'll keep you posted on the next one.